This is lesson 40 of the quantum mechanics, a mini lecture series, uh, part five of rules of differentiation. So I'm going to talk about the different derivative of the trigonometric or trig functions in this video. So if you recall from trigonometry lessons, okay, if I draw a right angle triangle, um, have some angle here, theta, okay, you can work out, so the side here, the shortest side is called the adjacent, okay, it's adjacent, it's next to the angle theta of the right angle triangle. The side that's opposite the angle theta is called the opposite, right? no prizes for that one. And the longest side is called the hypotenuse. And you can actually work out expressions, uh, relationships between the angle theta and all these sides. So if you recall, sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, hypotenuse cos or cosine theta is just adjacent divided by hypotenuse and tangent or tan of theta is just opposite over adjacent. Okay, and you've got these three expressions. Now, it turns out that these three trig functions have derivatives given by the following. Okay, if you want to find the derivative of sine theta, okay, sine theta prime, I get cos theta. Okay, I'm not going to show you how these are derived. It's not the purpose of my videos is just to introduce derivatives of these functions. Okay, the derivative of cos theta is minus sine theta. And the derivative of tan theta is just sec squared theta. Okay, where sec, okay, so I should also mention that the, the reciprocal of each of the trig functions up here, okay, the reciprocal, the division um, is basically, so it's one divided by each of the trig functions. So one on sine theta, is also called cosec theta. Okay, it's just a name, cosec theta. One divided by cos theta is given the name sec theta. And one over tan theta is given the name cot theta. Okay, these are the reciprocals of the three trig functions. So as you can see, they're not complicated, they're sort of straightforward. Okay, sine, cos, and tan have got um, derivatives given by the following. 